This is one of the most deadliest river in Nairobi, Kenya. It passes through Embakasi East, uh, Soweto, Kayole, all the way through. During floods periods, this river caused a lot of damage. Houses have been swept away and people have died. There is no food, nowhere to sleep, and some kids have been swept away. We have never witnessed such a disaster. Houses have been swept away, people have died, and others are lost. When you see the buildings there, that is Soweto, Kayole. Now, today I'm going to take you uh, on this river, through this river, when there's no rain. This one was the period of floods, but I'm going to take you when there is no floods and show you the most deadliest river in Nairobi. During rain season, this river was flooded up to this area in the upper side. All these houses were submerged in water. So let me tell you, everyone who was living around here was evacuated. Now, let's see the river. <laughs> you may think they're just sheds. Wow. But <laughs> you cannot afford. Now, there is a police uh, uh, garrison. Uh, That's a uh, ECU camp. The river is in between our Kenya Defense Force, Army, and uh, Soweto area. Let me show you time of floods. This is a river. I don't know if it's the river Nairobi. No, river. It go, it's called, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a sewer. It's, this is a sewer line, in fact. It's a sewer line. Yeah. But on this river, when uh, when there was floods, it, it, it flooded until the other side. The other side. Yeah. You know? All these houses were submerged in water. All these houses were submerged in water. So you can really uh, show them the other the other houses on the other side. All those houses they were submerged in water. So this is the river. Now let me As tell you, you see, this just, is the river are, uh, falls. <laughs> before floods. <laughs> it even has before raining, the river is just like this. And uh, it's a sewer line. Some people asked me Some why asked is the why is you know rivers, rivers in Nairobi so that so because of our sewer line. Some of them are sewer mixed lines. with sewer line. Now this is the river before so uh, a raining season wow. or before floods. Uh, and now this is the river after raining season, after floods. You see, everywhere is covered with water. Everywhere is covered with water. So you just tell me when you are living around here with your kids. Wow. These rivers cost lives of so many people. When someone falls here, he or she won't be found. So, someone was asking me why is rivers in Nairobi so that Mixed with sewer lines. That's why it's so bad. Wow. Now here, here is in Kayole area. I think uh, Soweto. T show them the other the places. They have the people houses. People are living there. Yeah, there are people living in every in every single place here. There are some people living. Uh, you can be surprised, but that that is people are living there. Yeah. Don't be surprised. <laughs> and uh, we work on this. Uh, this is what would we call this garbage. garbage yeah. This garbage are some people's uh, hustling. Yeah, we have them here. There are some who separate these things, maybe plastic bottles, and go to how it how it called. They go to me and they go the other side. I don't know if I can pass. Or is it deep? No. It's deep, but it depends. Maybe I cross my that side. Maybe you use jumping, jumping into these stones. Ah, I can jump, <laughs> I can jump here. But don't risk.
I'm just trying to tell them uh, the most scary part is deep down here. But the other side we have, uh, the other side we have uh, what we call a uh, Jesh Kenya army. Yeah. On this other side too, all of these houses were in water during flood period. So tell me how many families were being displaced during the period. It's not that, that there is no other places to live, but uh, this is one of the most cheaper places to live and uh, to afford. So uh, someone who is living here, uh, he or she is surviving for the fittest because uh, he or she cannot afford uh, the high cost of living in Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, now he chooses to live down here near the riverbanks. Now, this is the other side, another side of the riverbank. What worries me a lot in Nairobi, we don't keep the rivers clean. Yeah, it's used as dust or dump sites, you know. Hey. Now, let me show you. You see these places like uh, here, it's down the river. You can. But the other side, you need Jesus, isn't it? But during flood, here was flooded, Kabisa. Like in the corner of the job, I don't think you can just go here and go to the Yeah. I don't know. Now, I've just shown you this river before raining or before floods, and the river after floods is this one. This is two different places, two different experiences. So, if you come here when there's no rain, you may think the river is so calm and it's good, you know. But when you come here before rain, it's another story. So this is how the people down here live. This is Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya. And you see this side is uphill of the river and down there there is the riverbanks. All these houses I'm showing you here were inside water during flood period. Now this is one of the deadliest river in Nairobi, the river that has carried a lot of people, the rivers that have caused lives for people thank you for watching my short tour on one of the most deadliest river in nairobi now is my time to go back if you love the video don't forget to like subscribe and uh, comment down there what do you think about this video of course i am the kenyan beast i'm doing it the african way every day every time until next time peace be with you